We expect certain things from a desert. Dirt, sometimes sand, a lot of dryness, maybe the scorpion king. We can even accept that there's going to be some really weird plants in the desert. But what don't we expect? This stuff. Pioneer Town, California. Have you ever wanted to live in a real-life Western film? Ever wanted to mosey on down to the saloon, order a shot of their finest whiskey, then head out to hop on your horse and go search the hills for gold? Then welcome to Pioneer Town, a totally fake Western town in the middle of nowhere that you can actually live in if you're that kind of weird. Built in 1946 in the Mojave Desert by country and Western stars like Roy Rogers and Gene Autry, Pioneer Town used to be a hot spot for Hollywood to film Westerns. But since that genre died out, it's become a monument to lost dreams. With some tourists loving it so much, they've actually become permanent residents. Why? Well, the chance to see random celebrities like Paul McCartney and Emma Stone show up in town might be part of it. Mongolia's Singing Desert Dunes and Lakes The Badain-Juran Desert covers 19,300 square miles of Inner Mongolia, gets only a few inches of precipitation a year, and has some of the highest sand dunes in the world. The so-called Mega Dunes average between 660 and 980 feet tall, with the highest reaching around 1,500 feet tall. The field of Mega Dunes is also home to a series of lakes that science can't consistently explain. No rivers feed them, no rainfall replenishes them, but they're most likely fed by a system of underground springs. So why are half of the lake saltwater and the other half freshwater? Scientists are still combing the desert for answers. What about you guys? We ain't found sh And that's not the only strange thing about Badain Joran, because those dunes also sing and shout and boom. Scientists say it's because when minor tremors move through the dunes, the sand acts as an amplifier. How much of an amplifier? The Badain dunes have been recorded shouting at 105 decibels, roughly the same amount of noise a chainsaw or tractor generates. That's gotta be annoying. Desert Christ Park, California if you ever wanted to photobomb Jesus, well, you're in luck thanks to the aptly named Desert Christ Park. Located in Yucca Valley, California, the park is home to a slew of biblical statues, including a giant relief of the Last Supper that begs for audience participation. The whole bizarre scene was created by accident in 1951, when a sculptor named Anton Martin was refused permission to install a cement statue of Christ on the edge of the Grand Canyon. The sculpture became known as the Unwanted Christ before it finally found a home in California, where it served as the foundation for a whole arrangement of religious statues. Statues. Originally designed to withstand a nuclear war, the statues have been damaged by earthquakes, vandalism, weather, and even had their noses chiseled off by Martin himself in a momentary fit of rage. But so far they haven't been destroyed by an A-bomb, so it looks like he was actually onto something. The Ghost Theater, Egypt Head out into the desert of the Sinai Peninsula, and you might stumble across 700 wooden seats lined up in the desert sand. The brainchild of a guy named Diane Edel, it was once supposed to be a gigantic outdoor movie theater, scheduled to open in 1997 with a screening of Jurassic Park. However, the event never happened. Some say it was sabotaged, leaving this ghost theater to slowly rot away in the desert sands. Extinct, like the T-Rex. You said you've got a T-Rex? Uh-huh. Say again. <laughs> we have a T-Rex. California City, California. In 2015, California City had a population of 13,165, and that made it number 340 on the list of the state's largest cities. In terms of physical size, though, it's the third largest city in California. That's because back in 1958, an entrepreneur named Nathan Mendelssohn planned to turn this remote patch of desert into the next Los Angeles. He bought a whopping 82,000 acres and planned out an entire massive city, laying out a huge grid of roads and selling lots to speculators and dreamers. Unfortunately, it never panned out. With 14,000 landowners awarded settlements and refunds for their broken promises and broken hearts. Once a land of promise, but today the majority of its 200 square miles are made up of open desert and the remains of what was supposed to be something much, much bigger. Those ghost roads can still be seen, though, stretching across the vast emptiness like a mass hallucination. It's extremely eerie and pretty darn cool. The Desierto Florido, Chile. The Atacama Desert of Chile is usually a stark, barren place, and it's one of the driest places on Earth. Annual rainfall is less than 4 millimeters, and if you think there's not much that can survive there, you're right. But time your visit right, and you might stumble into the desert when it's literally covered in a blanket of flowers of every color of the rainbow, and then some. It's called the Desierto Florido, or the Desert in Bloom, and it happens every 5 to 7 years. It all has to do with El Niño. When the weather pattern is at the point in its cycle where it warms the coastal waters and dumps rain onto the desert, millions and millions of annual flowers briefly bloom before going dormant until the next cycle. Awesome! Aerial Imaging Calibration Targets, U.S. 
If you use Google Earth to poke around the deserts of the southwest United States, you'll see something very strange, as the planet Earth seems to have been tagged with weird crosses and gigantic barcodes. Turns out, they're actually secret codes for spy satellites. Yep, back in the 1960s, spy satellites would ping these aerial imaging calibration targets to fix their location and focus range before taking secret photos of communist installations in China and Russia. Most of them have long since been destroyed, but a few still remain, faithful centuries in a Cold War long over. Thanks for watching. Click the grunge icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.